Hey gang, Daily Rapid Garden View, giving you a glimpse across the garden. You can see I've widened things out a little bit. I'm trying this. I'm going to be, right now, both of these um, PL seeds, the one here and the one, I think you can see, oh no, there's <laughs> one here and one here. Right now are a little farther apart than I would like them. I'll show you when I go around the other side. I'm gonna offset them a little bit more. But for right now, you can see that the plants are pretty high underneath there and I've played around with them a bunch already, but, you know, here's the chocolate habanero, the one that was just really off balance. Um, I still have, it is in a two, I think this is a two, number two pot. Um, so that's really just too small for these. And you can see now I have a five gallon right around it just to kind of protect those roots that are down in there, kind of covering it a little bit. Um, but really what I'm trying to do with this one is, you know, I, I don't want to totally lose all the fruit that's on here. There are a lot of flowers, but I know there were fruit. I have my, oh, here's some. Um, I have my glasses on. <laughs> the uh, Method 7 glasses, so it makes some of the colors a little odd for me. But I know there's other fruit set up in here, so I'm trying to save that. And then the other reason that I have it like this is that I'm hoping that I can get some of these other shoots down here to come up and that way I'll be able to top once this is all fruited out and done be able to top it and let it re-veg straighten it up in a good pot and save that plant actually so we'll see what happens with that here's the Carolina Reaper you can see it's doing really nice let me see if I can get you a shot up underneath there a little bit you can see there's lots of flowers on there coming along there are some little fruits set up in there so uh, we'll see how that goes Ooh, that's my finger. Here's the, excuse me, I keep moving things around, but here is the yellow um, Trinidad Scorpion. This is the one on this side that's pretty squat and short. I think you can see underneath there pretty well. Get a good shot of that. All tons of peppers on here. I keep taking them off because again, um, the plants are pretty top heavy. So while this one has a very nice low center of gravity, I still don't want to take any chances. Um, in here, amongst all this other vegetation, is my lime. Really just letting that just set up and get a nice stem on it. Here's the other, or the yellow Trinidad. This is the one that's a crop. You can see the pot's over here. The plant is really mainly over here, and that's just not stable. I have that held up here. So again, I'm gonna wait until the, there's so much fruit on here. I just don't wanna lose the plant in any way and it keeps setting up new, new flowers and fruit. So I'm letting that go. Um, once this does finish out, then again, I'm gonna try and repot this. I don't know, this one's in a five gallon pot. It's, <laughs> it's really had seen some tougher days. So I don't know, we'll see if it transplants or not later on after it's done. Squash still hanging in there. I don't know. We'll give it a little bit longer. Here's my um, Tabasco doing awesome. I keep moving them around just a little bit so they get a little different light. And you can see all the Tabasco set up in here. It's so beautiful. Uh, coming around here is the starfish pepper. I'm re-vegging it here, doing really nicely. Here's the Carolina Reaper. That used to be over on the other side, now it's here, and you can see it's getting some nice, just starting some fruit. This will be one heck of a hot plant, I think, once, once we get it all done. This one has fallen over again, too. Again, this is in the smaller pot. Let me see if you can see. It's not a real small pot, I think it's a number three, but I have two big plants in here. So this is the Carolina Reaper, this is the chocolate habanero. Um, they both have pretty good bases on them as far as where they split, but then this one just shot up and there's so much fruit on here that it, it just got really top heavy. So this is, these are the chocolate habaneros. As these ripen, I'm gonna take them out too um, and then kind of lower the plant down. But look at, oh, it's kind of nuts really. So, um, you know, it's a beautiful plant and I'm really excited to not only have these finish up, but let it, once it does, then bringing that down a little bit, letting re -veg and see what I can get on the second round on it. So, all in all, doing pretty good, moving things around, but there you have it for today and until next time, peace out.